Um, so yeah, I grew up in that small farming community of Crowlands, half an hour north of Ararat and Stall. Um, and despite the small population we had there, there were four of us around the same age. In 2001, I took the four of us to the brigade training officer in regard to returning to the running circuit. The brigade hadn't had a running team for eight years, and we wanted to get one up and running. Uh, we did that, and um, yeah, it was a success, and they've kept that team on the track um, for every year since then, and t except for two. At the earliest opportunity, I completed my minimum skills, and as Lex um, mentioned, I gained my first aid certificate and, um, and loved what I was doing in that role, and that's led to the career path that I've chosen to be a paramedic with Ambulance Victoria. As is the case for many of these small communities, time sends the youth away. All four members of that running team, however, I'm sorry, have since moved away. However, the promotion, as I discussed, um, has led to the team continuing on in the latter years. For me, that move was in 2008 when I went to Ballarat to study my nursing and paramedicine degree. And the hands-on learner that I was, uh, wanted to get some on-field experience for, for the ambulance component, not just the firefighting. So I went to the District 15 headquarters thinking they might have some contacts for community emergency response teams or ambulance branches with uh, ambulance community officers. And for those that aren't quite aware, that's a volunteer capacity to help the paramedics out in communities where they can't fund paramedics all of the time. Uh, they didn't have the direct contacts and so they forwarded me on to the First Lieutenant of the Ballarat City Fire Brigade, whom is a micro paramedic. I went to their training nights and was told that Brendan will be here later on and that continued on for a month. Somehow in that time frame, they managed to get me to join. And I say somehow because I never would have envisaged myself joining Ballarat City Fire Brigade, let alone achieving what I have with them. However, I think also a major contributing factor to joining City was that I wanted to learn a greater skill set and take some more expertise and professionalism back to the Crowlands Brigade. In the latter half of the same year, I obtained the role as an ambulance community officer at Avoca. To fulfil that role, I was required to drive 45 minutes to stand by in that community with every chance of not getting a job, and sometimes that meant being out of pocket at the end of the trip. Uh, anyway, back on topic, in my time at Ballarat City, I went on to spend a term as the fourth lieutenant, um, and in, in my second term as the group delegate and the VFBV district council delegate. I participated in a number of forums such as the Youth Forum and went on to be, as uh, Lex mentioned, the, one of the inaugural daily scholarship participants, completing that certificate for frontline management offered by VFBV, now to CFA, SES, uh, Life Saving Victoria, Coast Guard and Ambulance Victoria. And so to bring you to present day, I commenced my role as a graduate ambulance paramedic with Ambulance Victoria in November of last year. So that's pretty much me. So from my little story there, you can see that I myself have stepped up to volunteer three times now for two different organisations and for three very, very different reasons. In many small communities, such as Crowlands, young people can be often brought up to fall into operational roles in their local brigade. For me, this was very much the case. The farm I grew up on was run between my father and his brother, Jeff. In 2001, when I took that group of four to the training officer, that was my father. The next election he went on to take on the role of captain and he did that for 10 years. His brother Jeff, he was a group officer for 12. And so that family history was quite strong there. And that, as I say, backs up what Catherine had discussed with what your parents do in the community and with volunteering can very much roll into what the, the children will do later on. And so I touched on why I joined Ballarat City, very much for self-development, satisfaction and achievement along with my passion for service delivery. Volunteering for ambulance was a way for me to put the foot in the door to set up for a career path and to apply what I was learning in the classroom, a way to keep ahead of my uh, classmates even. The fact that I was able to do this in a small community such as Avoca, that very much appreciated what we were doing there, was an extra bonus. To conclude, everybody's view of volunteering is different. What prospective volunteers want to achieve and what motivates them varies and even individuals and what they want to achieve out of each scenario of volunteering can be very much different as seen in my case here. And so in, particularly in regard to youth, where community is not as small and defined as it used to be, there is no one simple solution to CFA's great challenge, that is volunteer recruitment and retention. A certainty though is that the ability of CFA and its brigades to be dynamic, versatile and receptive to new approaches is vital.
No, thank you all very much for having me here today.